Next question is, uh, what, what is a uh, valve actuator? I uh, have a simple one right here. We have a choke butterfly valve right here at the top of this carburetor, right in the air horn. The choke is used uh, to start the vehicle when it's cold. So what has to happen is that this choke, uh, which is actually partially closed, has to close off this passageway and basically has a choke effect. What happens is that it causes fuel to be flooded into the engine, into the intake, and you can start the engine when it's cold. Once the engine starts, this has to open up and let air in. We have a um, bimetal spring right in here that's temperature controlled. It senses the temperature of the engine because it has a heat stove that comes up to it and it can actually open and close the choke diaphragm. That's one, one type of actuator. We have uh, other types of valve actuators and uh, anti-lock brake systems that actually open and close hydraulic passages. Uh, again, these are controlled electronically and actually actuated by solenoids. A solenoid is an actuator that uh, is controlled electrically but actually does mechanical work. The output is uh, some type of mechanical action. We have uh, actuators on, uh, on starter motors where we have uh, starter solenoids on top. Uh, we have, um, again, uh, vacuum actuators uh, on uh, heating, ventilation, and air conditioning systems, and uh, we have all, all different types on, on vehicles. So again, uh, just depends specifically what type of actuator you want to focus on. The other thing in the engine, if you're going to talk about valves, the camshaft actually opens the engine valves at the correct time. So the camshaft is nothing more than an eccentric lobe that actually pushes up against a cam follower or valve lifter and that either via a push rod or directly will push open the valve and hold the valve open for a certain duration and then it will close once the camshaft rotates and the, the uh, cam follower lifter comes back down on the base circle of the camshaft. The spring on the valve also helps close it so a lot of times uh, when an actuator opens a valve it may be closed by spring tension and not by the actuator itself in some situations depending upon the system the actuator can close the valve too as well as open it.